Brian Particelli, 2fab.com here. Pleasure to meet you both. Watched hey. this movie last night and loved it. You guys were both great in it. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Thank you. But, yeah, first up, I guess I just wanted to bring up Aunt Sandy saying how the gays are obsessed with her. Something I can, as a gay myself, <laughs> confirm is true for you both. I'm just wondering when the first time you realized you had amassed maybe a queer following and why you think we are so obsessed with you both. Well, I'll speak for myself. I, I feel like it's, it's, um, I think it's a very mutual thing. I think when, you know, I think people like you back when you like them. And I've sort of been, always been an unconscious choice when I was mm -hmm. growing up, like I was a very unaware kid. I was sort of oblivious, whatever, but I just always gravitated toward, you know, gay men, gay women, like that was sort of my crowd. And, um, and so it just makes a lot of sense that maybe, you know, they, that it's sort of a, you know, becomes a mutual thing, I think. Just, I don't know, you <laughs> have the same taste. You have somehow you have the same- Right, taste. we have great taste. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right? yeah, exactly. I was gonna say that they have really good taste, so we them back. I've been an LGBTQIA, LMNOP, I wanna be <laughs> very inclusive, um, activist since I was, I don't know, maybe 17 or 18. So I think I forced my way into the gay community, <laughs> making, demanding that they like me. But I think um, I think both Jennifer and I, in in a, in a slight way, represent um, the outside circles, and so the outside circles are the is the equality is very important to me. Yeah, no, and we will take as many people as we can. So, <laughs> and, you know, for Kathy, I'm wondering how it's, how it felt for you to switch into Christmas mode, you know, into Halloween mode for Hocus Pocus 2. And on the flip side for Jennifer, as a big fan of Halloween, how it feels to be in your first Christmas movie. Uh, I've been in, <laughs> I've been in a couple Christmas movies and I like it a lot. I love, I love Christmas. I'm a, I'm a sycophant Christmas person. Um, but uh, I, I didn't, you know, I didn't know it was going to be about Christmas. I, I probably would have said, no, no, I love Christmas. What's, I mean, come on, be in a Christmas movie, there'll be a big tree and there'll be like Christmas cookies you can actually eat. I was, I'm thrilled about it. I love the holidays. Yeah. Yeah, I have, I have, I don't think I've, I haven't been in a Christmas movie. I don't know, I don't know how you get like finally chosen, but um, <laughs> uh, I, I made the cut this year and um, I'm thrilled to be in a Christmas movie. I just, it's, you know, I'm a Halloween girl, but um, after, you know, COVID happened, I found that um, there were so many things I really didn't know about myself. And one of them was like, uh, just how important socialization is to me and how, uh, how I definitely need, definitely need to uh, be with, uh, people, uh, you know, I, I need to be social. I don't need to be in some obscure house at the end of a long driveway. I want to be mm. out with, uh, I want to go to as many Christmas parties as I'm invited. I don't have any, I don't roll my eyes when someone invites me. I'm thrilled. I'll go to 20 or 30 Christmas parties. Um, I'm, I'm into it. I'm just not into the, you know, the, the 95 days of decorating, but I'm into the, you know, the day uh, itself. <laughs> yes. Well, I hope you both have a fantastic holiday season and go to as Thank many parties as possible. Thank you, you both for your time. Yeah. Thank you. Is that your really uh, your house behind you? No, that's from the movie. Oh that's shit. Kathy's house. <laughs> but thank you again. Have a good one.